Thank you, Chairman. Uh, UTA2 LLC, the owner and affiliate of Jam Productions, has submitted an application for the Class L property tax incentive for the Uptown Theater. Jam Productions and Farpoint Development are forming a new venture to rehabilitate and reopen the Uptown Theater as one of Chicago's premier live music and, and, and event venues. The Class Cell improvements are estimated to be completed by the end of 2020. As you may know, the Cook County Real Property Assessment Classification Ordinance was amended to include, include certain prevailing wage, labor, apprentice, and reporting components which will take effect on September 1st. Due to the timing of this amendment and the financial and other implications on the project, the Class Cell application for Uptown Theater is being presented to you today. The theater project includes other planned city assistance that will be reviewed in the future. The owner is also pursuing the 20% federal historic tax credit, and as such, the project will be undergoing National Park Service review. The Uptown Theater, designed by the firm of Rapp and Rapp, was the largest theater in the nation when completed in 1925. The theater was closed in December of 1981. It was designated a Chicago landmark in 1991, with both the interior and exterior called out as significant features. Upon the request of the Landmarks Commission, emergency stabilization of the exterior of the building was performed in 2005 and 2006 by a court-authorized receiver to cure dangerous and hazardous conditions and waterproof the exterior to prevent further water infiltration. Terracotta removed as part of the emergency work was salvaged and stored in the building where it still remains. The current owner purchased the property in 2008. The exterior work includes extensive masonry repairs as well as repair or replacement of structural steel as necessary on all elevations of the building. Previously removed and salvaged pieces of terracotta will be reinstalled where possible. Damaged or missing terracotta will be reset or replaced with terracotta or GFRC, and the facade will be cleaned and tuck pointed. The tall, elaborate terracotta parapet will be reconstructed on the east elevation. The masonry work at the east elevation of the auditorium will include repair, rebuilding of terracotta corners, rebuilding of parapets to achieve proper roofing terminations, brick repairs needed at fire escape penetrations, replacement of window lintels and sills, and cleaning. The south facade masonry will be cleaned, terracotta will be replaced at bell course, base of the building, and arch window surrounds where required. The existing fire escapes will be repaired or replaced as necessary. The existing steel windows will be repaired. As with the other street elevations, the parapet along the west elevation and terracotta corners will also be rebuilt or repaired. <coughs> the facade will be cleaned and spot top pointed. Other areas of terracotta will be replaced where required. New thermal insulation and roofing will be installed on the entire building. The interior decorative elements will be rehabilitated, including repair of decorative millwork, decorative doors and paint pla and plaster in areas of primary historic significance. Approximately 60 original decorative light fixtures will be refurbished and reinstalled. Carpeting is proposed to be replaced with replicas based on historical photos. Decorative draperies will be replaced where appropriate and historic wayfinding signage will be replicated where possible. The interior work includes construction of new box office and ticket windows at the first level and installation of new food and beverage concession points of sale, which are highlighted in yellow on the plans throughout the front of house. New ADA compliant restrooms will be constructed at various levels with approximately 130 fixtures. A new passenger elevator serving front of house levels, basement through balcony, is proposed as an addition to the north common brick elevation of the building at the alley, which is shaded in orange on the plan. A new back of house elevator serving levels basement through six will also be installed within the existing footprint of the building, which is close to the southwest corner of the building shaded in red on the plan. 
Interior work includes removal of existing underground heating oil storage tanks and abatement of asbestos containing materials throughout the building. Basement areas will be built out with new restrooms, storage, and backup house spaces. Future doorway connections to the adjacent 4818 North Broadway building are contemplated at the second level of the Uptown Theater. The work to the adjacent building is not included in the Class L scope of work. As on the other floor levels, new dressing rooms and back of house facilities are proposed at the third level. At the fourth level, existing restroom will be removed in one location to accommodate a new elevator lobby. A new addition is proposed at the north common brick elevation of the theater to accommodate new restrooms. The addition is proposed atop an existing two and three story portions of the building and will not have an adverse impact on the building. The interior improvements will also include increasing capacity to 5,800 patrons at general admission shows and installation of, of accessible seating. Existing raked auditorium floor is proposed to be converted to tiered floor at the first level. The existing fire curtain will be repaired and interior accent lighting will be replaced with LED accent lighting throughout. Updated mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire suppression, fire alarm, security, and telecom systems will be installed. Upon completion of the scope of work, the project will satisfy the requirements of the Chicago Sustainable Development Policy. Further details of the proposed scope of work, as well as any signage proposed for the property, will be presented to the Permit Review Committee in the future before any permits are approved. All work shall occur in accordance with permit drawings for the project and any commission and PRC conditions of approval. The minimum investment required for eligibility for the Class Cell is $189,646. This is exclusive of grants, tax credits, and other incentives. The applicant will be spending a little over $55.7 million in qualifying rehabilitation expenses for the building. The total project costs are estimated to be uh, approximately $62 million, which is excluding acquisition costs, finance, financing costs, developer fee, and other carry costs. The project is anticipated to generate 660 construction jobs. Once Open for operation, the, three, the theater is expected to employ 14 full-time jobs and 181 part-time employees. A tax analysis has been prepared to estimate the value of incentive to the applicant. The current annual taxes for the property are just over 100,000. If the building remains as is with no rehabilitation, the property taxes over the 12 year period are estimated to be about 1.1 million net present value. Estimated property taxes over the 12 year period with rehabilitation of the property, but no class sale incentive, are 2.6 million net present value. Estimated property taxes over the same period of time with the class sale incentive in place are estimated 1.2 million net present value. During the 12 years of the class sell, the property is estimated to generate approximately 75,000 more in taxes than if the building had not been rehabilitated. After the class sell period, annual taxes for the property are estimated to be 359,000, or a little over 213,000 more than if the building were not rehabilitated. Though the incentive is a net gain in, in taxes for the city, the DPD has estimated the total tax abatement to the applicant over the 12 years of the incentive is 2.2 million, which is about 1.9 million net present value. Staff recommends approval of the request for the class L incentive for the project and a draft recommendation is at your places. And I believe representatives of the owner and um, are here if you have any questions for them. Thank you.